Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, whether you're a new viewer that's going to go down and click subscribe, or if you're a return viewer or subscriber, we do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to do tonight is something a little bit different. People are always asking us if we support free PBX. And while Grandstream is our main system that we support and deploy, we do also support existing free PBX installations. And James, who is my tech, is one of the best telephony guys in the industry, hands down. And he's going to show you how to do something for free with free PBX that normally you would have to buy a module for. You would normally have to buy the Paging Pro module for this or a bundle that contains the Paging Pro. But James is actually going to show you how to set up scheduled pages at no cost. So let's kick it on over to James. Hey everyone, this is James with Willie Howe Technology and I'd like to talk to you about creating scheduled paging with free PBX. There is a free PBX module from Sangoma that you can purchase that will allow you to do this with a nice friendly GUI but it does cost about $299. It's included in the starter bundle and I do believe you can purchase it on its own but I'm not sure what the price is um, so this is my home lab I don't want to put a ton of money into it and the best way to to do it is with the asterisk call files so asterisk provides a way for you to create a text file and once that text file is moved into a specific folder then asterisk acts and does whatever that call file tells it to do so we're going to use that call file as well as uh, the Linux scheduling system, which is cron, to create scheduled paging today. All right, so we're going to first log into our free PBX server, obviously. And, and something you want to know about this is you, you have to plan this out. Um, so you have to think about the different bells you're going to use or the different recordings you're going to use then you have to think about where you're going to send those so we're going to have the recording and we're going to have a page group uh, all built in with free pbx so we go to admin and system recordings and then system recordings that's where we we create the recording that we're going to send out over the page so you can see I've got several already created. Um, you would just click add a recording. Uh, we're going to go in. We'll go into the 815 bell. And we'll see what we did here. And again, my free PBX server is running on a Raspberry Pi 3. So it's a little bit slower. So the first thing we do is we add a name and a description. And you can see right here I've already got a file in here. If you have a, a, a file, a WAV file or MP3 that you want to upload to the system, you can click browse and, and just upload it right to the system. The most common way is to click over record it over extension and enter the extension you want to record to. Press the call button and record what you want to say. Then after you do that, it provides a, an option to save a name for it and once you get the, the, everything recorded that you want you get the name you have to remember this folder right here custom and then the name that you give it that is the folder within free pbx or asterisk or in linux where that wave file is being saved so once you're done with everything you click submit and then apply config and you just repeat the process over and over with all the different uh, pages that you want so once we have all of our recordings done, we need to go to the page group or create a page group, which is under applications, paging and intercom. And you can see here, I've got several paging groups already made. The one that we want to look at is 2501. I name it school bell. I like to have everything named so that later on when I'm trying to do something, it, I can follow a flow. I, I see a school bell everywhere. I know that that's being used for that paging feature that I built. So once we edit this, and it would be the same as adding it, we look, we see the extension that I've given it, which is 2501. I named it school bell. Under device list, I have all of my phones um, that are in the house. So every phone gets it. He can hear the page throughout the house and knows where to go. Uh, 
when he signs back into the classroom. We want to skip busy extensions. If somebody's on the phone, we don't want the page to go and interrupt them. Uh, we don't want duplex on because we don't want anyone trying to talk back and creating feedback and noise and everything for the page. So once we have the page group built, we hit submit and we apply config. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm on a Raspberry Pi and it takes forever. So once we have this complete though, we're done with the web GUI for free PBX and we switch over to SSH. So we SSH into our free PBX server and I like to create a folder called page where I keep all of my call files. So we'll drop into page and you can see the different call files I have. We're going to look at test call and you see the format that test call that call is in. Uh, we need a channel so for paging it's local slash your paging group that you created minus 2501 at ext dash paging that's the channel that asterisk is going to use to to make the call the application it's going to use is a playback we're playing back audio the data for the playback is custom the folder where the wave file are is held or whatever the type of file that you save it as um, wave is the most common so it's custom and then the name of the file that you created for the recording caller ID I like to name it school bell again I try to keep all of the naming uh, the same throughout so I can follow the path throughout my programming later on and once you have this file created you just save the file and then we can test the file so so we copy test.call to bar spool asterisk outgoing oh, outgoing and once we do that as soon as that file hits that folder asterisk is going to act on it and you see the bell happened and it started playing the audio right away so we know that our recording is good we know that our page group is good and we know our call file is good at this point so the only thing we have to do at this point is to schedule it and like I said earlier we use cron to do that and if we go all the way down I'm not going to explain everything about the the cron file uh, you can always go in and read about it but I will tell you the first two digits are the minutes the next two are the hour and then we have the day of the weeks or not day of the weeks yes the day of the week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and I'm recording this on a Saturday so I have six in there for Saturday seven would obviously be Sunday and then we have the command after that so we have copy the file to be copied which is in root slash page test call and where we're going to copy that to var spool asterisk outgoing so we choose our minutes which will be 58 oh 59 and then the hour is three o'clock so we're going to save this and now we have to wait about 45 seconds and we will get the page all right, we should be getting it in a few seconds here. And there you have it. We have the actual uh, scheduled page. It went off when we asked it to. So the only thing left is, you know, it, you, you have these set up. They're going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is great, except for when the kid is off when there's no school so I've, I've created a script that is checks for today's date and if it if today's date is in a text file in a holiday txt file if today's date is in this format in this file then um, the, it will not run the page at that point so uh, if anybody would like to have that that script I would 
I wouldn't mind sending it out. Um, it's a crude script. I'm not a programmer by trade, so uh, don't make fun of me. <laughs> but uh, that is everything at that point. So um, right now we have this happening, you know, all the time, and we set whatever days we need to in the holiday, and the page is done. So um, that is it. All right, everybody, give it up for James. He was a little nervous. This is, I think, his first video on the channel. He's going to be uh, dropping some more videos for you. So make sure you give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, uh, including free PBX, yes, we do that. You can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links, they are all down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.